I've had a lot of people coming to me and asking me about their marriage or about their girlfriend, boyfriend, some other significant other, and saying that they're having problems in their relationship and wondering what do you do about it. And one of the things that I found out along the way is that nearly in every single case what's happening is that people are getting all wrapped up in the, in the data, all in the, in the he said, she said, he did this, she did this, and they're forgetting why they got together in the first place. What I like for people to do is to realize that when you first meet the person, you get all wrapped up in the things that you really like and all the things that you're alike, okay? All of the things that you like to do together and ways that you're all similar. And then after people get married, then they start finding out all the things that they're different about. And then all of a sudden they start thinking, oh no, I've made a mistake because we're actually different. Well, here's the great big news flash, you're different anyway. You just didn't realize it because you were focused on all the ways that you were alike. Now one of the things that you need to remember is that it's not going to be all of your life just simply doing the ways that you're alike. The ways that you are different need to feed into it to where you realize that those are ways that you can feed your partner. Whether it's your spouse, your boyfriend, girlfriend, it doesn't really matter. One of the things that people have got to realize is it's your job to help meet their needs. It's not your job to make them happy. You can never do that. And you are also not responsible for their happiness. But part of your gift that you can give to that significant person in your life is to help meet their needs. Some people have a need to have love and belonging to a higher degree than the other person might. One person in the relationship might have a high need for fun and the other person has a high need for love and belonging. So the person who loves to have a lot of fun needs to also be able to contribute to that need of love and belonging for the other person by spending time with them, by doing foot massages, back massages, whatever you need to do, reading together, something like that. But the person who has the need for love and belonging needs to go and do some fun things with the other person and help meet that need, you see. Just remember, we all have different needs, okay? You have a need for fun, love and belonging, control, meaning a sense of power and importance in life, freedom, and then you need to be able to meet these needs for your spouse or your, for your, your significant other. Spend some time on that. Find out what their needs are and find out how you can help meet those needs.